Welcome to Psychic Today. I'm your host, Jill Roberts. And on today's episode, we'll discuss the global crisis, the tarot reading of the day, and the stone of the day. So stay tuned, and we'll go on this journey together. Welcome back to Psychic Today. Again, I'm your host, Jill Roberts. And here we are all together in a time of profound transformation. For the past couple of weeks, like most of you, I've been at home. And being at home is quite different when the rest of your family is at home. And I know my situation here in New York City is very different than yours and even my neighbors. Um, Some people are on their own and if they don't go out and are able to get groceries and they have no one to do it for them. I'm lucky because I have people here with me. However, it is not as easy because we're not used to being together 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And this is a time of profound change. I have a 16 year old who is doing his last part of his semester on Zoom in his junior year. And I can't imagine the seniors who are missing their graduation, their prom, and so many rites of passage. I feel bad for the, for the young men and women who are growing up and having to deal with this crisis and the children. And yes, children are resilient, but it's very hard to keep them cooped up. Now, most people have houses with backyards and people can go out for air, but I live in Manhattan on the Upper East Side, so we're stuck. Together, all four of us, with not enough space, which is why I haven't been able to do a show in a while, and without direct sunlight, actually, because we have buildings all around our our building and our windows. So it's important to get outside, even if it's for 10 minutes, just to take in the fresh air. Social distancing is important. There's a lot of people here in New York City who are dying from this. There are a lot of people that are sick and in the hospital from it. It's not a pleasant thing to have to go through. It's very scary. And it's going to change the way we deal with people and places and things that we're just so used to doing for a long time. I even catch myself binge watching something on Netflix or, or Amazon Prime, and I see people shaking hands. I see people sitting together in restaurants or at a bar having a drink. And I think to myself, oh my goodness, the germs. It's almost like you become germophobic and you can, you know, become obsessive compulsive about it. You know, we have to take care of ourselves and we have to take care of our mental health because when we are not at ease, it's easier for us to become run down and susceptible to things like this. Now, of course, 80% of people survive the coronavirus, but a lot of people don't. There are people who have pre-existing conditions like myself who have had cancer. There are people who are older and are more susceptible to these things. It's not just pneumonia. And there's you've got to be careful of watching the news and, and the social media and YouTube because there's a lot of misinformation out there. And I can tell you, from being at almost round zero for the United States of where I'm living, things are very different. They're calling it a pause, but it's a shelter in place. So 
we only can go out if we have to. And that means to get food or to go to the pharmacy. I've had doctor's appointments via FaceTime. Of course, I usually see my clients on Zoom, which most, pe- most people didn't know about Zoom until recently because of uh, the Department of Education here where they're using Zoom for, um, for classes and stuff like that. <clears throat> but I'm also a parent of a 10-year-old in elementary school. And it's an, uh, I am not an educator. <laughs> I have other degrees and education was not part of mine. So having to do classwork and homework and spend an hour a day on regular subjects plus the other subjects my daughter would take like French and violin and music have become actually written assignments. So on top of that, I am nagging her constantly to do this, do that. And she goes to a Catholic school, so religion is the main subject. So it's very difficult, especially when I don't have all the books. I don't have the religion book. She didn't bring it home with her. So we have to get that online, and it's different online than it is for the work. And it's just very difficult. You know, we get PDFs and a couple of you know, a few minute videos. And it's very hard for me to see my clients, do my show, have my son doing his work, and then my partner, Stefan, you know, being home, which I'm not used to him being home at all. He works two jobs. So now I see him all the time. And then, you know, my daughter is frustrated because she's stuck inside. She can't go to the playground. She can't go, you know, she can go to see her grandmother because thankfully my mother is healthy and she lives a block away just to break up the monotony of being stuck inside. So it's a difficult situation. We're all dealing with different circumstances. And for those people who have lost loved ones to this, I please accept my sincere, my sincere thoughts and prayers because these people can't have the regular funeral rites they may have. They can't grieve with one another the way they need to. And there are thousands of deaths here in New York City. And I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. You know, the deaths are important because these are people's loved ones. It's their mother, their father, their grandparents, their brother, their sister, and some even children. So please, this is a time that we can bring things to a scratching halt. The global coronavirus pandemic has brought so many patterns of our everyday lives to this screeching halt. And we feel so much uncertainty as old structures appear to dissolve. Yet such times are also what we experience on the threshold of great leaps of transcendence. I feel that we may be approaching a huge opportunity for spiritual awakening right in the middle of of all of this uncertainty and, and pure craziness. If so, those of us who are connected with stones and their energies are in a uniquely fortunate position. That's because this transformation is not just for humanity. It's for the earth as well. And when we work in partnership with the soul of the world, through our mutually blessing relationships with the stone beings and their energy, we can plant seeds of benevolent intention that can become the patterns from which a new consciousness and a new world arises. 
These are my intuitions and my hopes for the time we have to enter together. One of the most amazing aspects of this pandemic is that it is an experience being shared on a totally global scale. There may have never been a worldwide human event of this magnitude before. As many teachers have noted, the Chinese word for crisis also translates as opportunity. Perhaps as a distressing global experience, such as this is occurring, an opportunity for a worldwide awakening of human awareness opens up as well. Spiritual alchemy works simultaneously with the opposing polarities of all situations. So what is the opposite of a worldwide pandemic and global breakdown? Perhaps it is worldwide healing and a new view of reality. Our work with stones and their energies is one of the seeds of that new reality. The very fact that millions of people can feel stone energies and that these experiences evoke numinous spiritual sensations is something that is impossible in the standard materialist worldview. The fact that the stone energies can benefit our spiritual pursuits of healing and enlightenment is another important piece of the new reality we are building. Now, the other thing I'd like to talk about before I go into one of my new services for this pandemic that some of you may be interested in is the veil. Now, I've talked about there are certain times when the veil is at its thinnest. For example, um, in the middle of October to the end of November, right around um, before the winter solstice, but around uh, Samhain and All Hallows' Eve and Halloween, the veil is usually very thin. And right now, the veil is down. So I'm getting quite a few clients who are seeing and feeling things that they've never seen and felt before and are kind of freaking out about it. You know, they want entity removals. They want attachment removals. There are some people who are um, very well informed on this subject, which is great because it's easier to work with people than have to teach them about what these things are. And please, if you do have a question, wherever you're listening to this, in the notes section, there is um, a button or a link that you can press to leave me a voice message about a question you have or a topic you'd like me to cover. So don't forget, if there's something, if you want to learn about entities and attachments and how you can go about getting rid of them, please do let me know because you may have had some paranormal experiences because of what's going on. We're creating actually a new earth here. We're creating a new world view of the earth. So I talk about stones a lot in Psychic Today because they are enhancing every aspect of what's quote unquote psychic, which is an umbrella term. Whether I'm using stones for um, crystal prescriptions, crystal gridding, tarot readings, mediumship readings, you name it, I use crystals for everything. So they heighten my vibration. They heighten my frequency. So I don't get these negative entities and attachments. And I'm not dealing with lower level entities or energies or emotions. But it helps me to help you. So in the meantime, I want to offer some other services and one of them is phototonic stone layouts. So my reasoning for beginning with this technique comes from our current situation, of course. We must now follow guidelines for social distancing in order to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. For the same reason, many of us are staying at home 
Is there something we can do at home to reach out and beneficially affect the well-being of people, places, pets, and even our entire planet? And of course there is. This is where phototonic stone layouts can be an asset for transformation. Working with the interconnected web of consciousness that underlies physical reality, the inviting the stone beings to join with us in our intentions, we can use photographs as focal points and create stone layouts on them. So with the phototonic layouts, I of course can use a grid, but usually it's a picture. And depending on what you need it for, we can assess the situation you're going through because many of us are going through anxiety type of situations, worries, um, you name it, entity removals, things that are going around that, you know, we're just frightened from watching all the news coverage on this. There's so many things that we can do here. Um, we can use these healing intentions for not only healing the physical, the light body, and the crystalline body, but for protection and transformation that the crisis of our times is calling for. The stone beings can aid us greatly by lending their powerful spiritual energies to our purpose. One of the hidden blessings of this period of our physical isolation from others is that we may have more time and energy to try new ways of reaching out and offering our healing influences. So, for years, I've been creating recipes or what you'd call crystal prescriptions, pulling together combinations of stone to enhance specific purposes. And the idea behind this is to tap into the energies of these particular stones. So depending on what the healing is for or this, the prescription is for for the phototonic stone layouts. Um, I have very expensive stones and I have less expensive stones. So it all depends on what you're looking for. Are you looking for transformation? Are you looking to awaken? Are you looking for spiritual guidance? Are you looking to find out what's going on or what is, you know, uh, to do something to heal yourself physically? Are you having symptoms for the coronavirus or symptoms of freaking out and having mental illness because of the coronavirus. You know, we're all in the same situation. However, everybody's situation is different. So I am going to be putting up on um, not only the show's website, but the my services website, <clears throat> which you can access through Psychic Today with JillRoberts.com, which is the name of the show.com, is the new photonic stone layouts. And we can have um, a consultation. We can talk about what you need and what you're going through. And we can figure out a way to help you through it. And it doesn't have to be for phototonic stone layouts. It can be for whatever it is you need. So I just want to briefly talk about that and address what we're going through because we are all going through this, every being on earth. And for some, it's harder than others. Some of us are very lucky. I'm in a population, a huge population. New York State has 19 million people. Manhattan has millions of people and we have not yet gotten sick. So we're staying at home. We're going out only when we have to. And now we have to wear face masks is mandatory. 
and only one person can go shopping for the family um, because they don't want that many people on the streets. So everybody's been doing extraordinarily well in Manhattan as far as staying at home and, you know, doing social distancing because it's important and we need to flatten the curve, as they say, plateau, and hope that however we reopen business and economy and the schools, it will be done in a way that is safe and that we don't have another spike in coronavirus deaths and diagnoses. So on that note, I'll be right back with the tower reading of the day. And just now, whenever you're listening to this, is when this tower reading applies to you. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Jill Roberts from the show Psychic Today. And I want to talk about Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Number one, it's free. Number two, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Number three, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and so many other different apps and platforms. You can make money from your podcast, and this is a biggie, with no minimum listening ship. With so many other podcast creators out there that I've tried, I would only use Anchor. I mean, there's, there's no fee. It's completely free, and everything is at your fingertips. It's everything you need to make in a podcast in one place. So now download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Again, that's anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M or download the Anchor app. And I can't wait to hear your podcast. Welcome back to Psychic Today. I'm your host, Jill Roberts, and now we're going to do today's tower reading. I picked three cards. I was drawn to pick three cards, and the first card I picked was the Five of Wands. The second card is the Seven of Cups, and the third card is the Ace of Wands. Now, I will be putting up... um, photos of these specific cards on the website, Psychic Today with JillRoberts.com. And I will explain um, the deck I'm using and what the cards look like, in case you don't have time. Now, I'm using the Tarot de la Nuit. This has become my favorite deck. It's really wonderful. I love the imagery. I just love how it really brings together a full picture. And the cards I pulled are, um, you can look at them as the first is past, the third, the second is present, the third is future. If we're going to look at it like that, past would be maybe two weeks before, present is now, and the future card is within the next few weeks of what we can do and what we can work on. Now, the Five of Wands in the Tarot de la Nuit is the Bridge of Sorrow. And on this card, um, there is a couple that are 
um, I would say 19th century. They're dressed in 19th century clothing. That is the vibe I'm getting from this. They're next to Tower Bridge in London. The female is crushed, you can tell. She is just putting her head down and holding on to her arms over her knee. And the gentleman is wearing a top hat and a long coat. And he is just kind of looking down into the water of the Thames. So the Five of Wands here in this deck means between him and me, there's only conflict, emptiness, and fog. We can't understand each other anymore. We have irreconcilable point of views. You may wonder if this man is my father or my brother or my lover or my friend, but that's not the point. We had this project together, but now all things are blocked. We are competitors when we should be a team. I wish we could go home, make some hot tea, sit at the table and start a calm discussion to solve the problem. But is it still possible? Will we be able to find a solution that brings prejudice to no one? I don't know. What about you? What are you doing on this bridge of sorrow? <clears throat> the key words for the five of wands is conflict, tension, confrontation. You need to discuss and find a win-win strategy. This may be an actual person in your life. It may be the situation that you find yourself in with the coronavirus. There are a lot of people going out and hoarding. So it's a point of view where we're kind of competing. Competing for masks, competing for food, competing to survive. Again, it can also be related to a loved one. Somebody that you're butting heads with. Somebody that maybe because you're stuck in the house with them and have a different dynamic now. So this is what's been going on. I believe the conflict is what it means to you. And now we're going to move into the present. And the present is the Seven of Cups. And with the Seven of Cups, you see kind of Sorry, you see kind of this woman sitting, looking down with the moon behind her, sitting on a little hill with little stones of like kind of a garden path leading up to her. And behind her is in the in the foreground is um, a burning fire pit where you can see embers coming from it and the stone on the other side. And let's see, with this beautiful card, she almost looks just majestic. She really does. It means dreaming at the moon. So this is the present card. I have so many dreams and so many wishes. I pray at the moon for them to come true. Sometimes reality frightens me. Sometimes I fear that everything I long for is unreachable. That is only an illusion dissolving in the nightly wind. It is hard for me to see what choice is best to be made and what path is right for me to follow. It is also hard for you to see clearly what is real and what is not. Do you have, like I do, too many options, too many dreams? Then come and sit beside me. Maybe together we can avoid the temptation of daydreaming. We can find a way to force the visions of our imagination into reality. The key words here are dreams, fantasy, illusions, imagination versus reality, choices to be made, and fear. So this card of what's going on right now is the fear. The fear that we're not going to get back to normal. It can be a fear of moving forward. 
of fear of following your dreams. There could be some sort of choice to be made. You need to use your dreams and your fantasies because it's what gives you hope. Hope and faith that we will get through this and start making plans now because we're going to get past this and we're going to get past it soon. So in the future card, we have the Ace of Wands. And with the Ace of Wands, its inspiration guides you. And it's a beautiful sepia-like picture of a woman. She's in a profile, but it's a close-up with a rose behind her ear. Again, if you look closely, you can see it's kind of 19th century dress where she actually has a locket, which is a big lock. And I guess she would need a key to open up her heart because the lock is sitting in the heart chakra position, which is the fourth chakra. So inspiration guides you with the Ace of Wands. You hold the key that can unlock everything. Go for it. You have a project in mind, and I'm here to encourage you to get it done enthusiastically. Don't waste time on planning. Just do it. Trust your instinct. All big bangs start in the dark. The forest behind me is not to be feared. It is a new territory of potentials and ideas that can be conquered. Your breakthrough moment is now. Time has come to use your skills and talents properly. Plant the seeds, make them grow. Like a spider, weave your web. The red flower in my hair shows the red passion you have to demonstrate right now. The key words here are spark of creation, energy and inspiration, ideas and projects to devote to. So as you can see, these cards all go together. In the past, or if you want to just do it as a three-card reading of what's going on uh, emotionally or professionally right now, you can look at the fact that the Five of Wands is showing that there's conflict and fear, fear of what's going on in this global pandemic. The Seven of Cups in the present or just the second card of this reading shows that it's time to start planning. It's time to use your creativity and your imaginations and your dreams. So start preparing now for what's to come. And what's to come is the Ace of Wands. And whatever it is that you're passionate about, do it. Do it when you can doesn't make a difference it doesn't have to be in the arts you don't have to be an artist you don't have to be a writer you don't have to be any of those things whatever your passion is you should do it and why not this is a time we can use for not only reflection but for transformation and we have to remember that we can't just stay stuck and wait for the world to pass us by. We need to use this time to regroup, to figure out what it is that we need or we want, and then to just go for it. So this is an amazing three card reading for today or whenever you're listening to this because it's so, it so aptly uh, applies to our current situation. And I believe it applies to everybody. So stay tuned. And the last segment of the show is this amazing Himalayan library, the least steel quartz that I want to talk about. So I'll be right back.
Welcome back to Psychic Today. Again, I'm your host, Jill Roberts. And today's stone comes from my good friend Cam of Terrasolis. And that's terrasolis.com, T-E-R-R-A-S-O-L-A-C-E.com. Or you can find her on Etsy under the shop Terra Solis, same name. And it's a two uh, thirds of a pound of a double terminated Elise Steel Himalayan Library Quartz. And it's raw. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, some common things that this stone can do is it f- facilitates communications with the masters. It connects you to higher realms. It amplifies your energy, dimensional connection. It stimulates and amplifies psychic energy. It's a harmonic stone of power, healing white light of perfection. It cleanses, opens, and activates chakras. Library etch and striated, Himalayan celestial, raw and natural. And this beauty comes from the Himalayan mountains of Pakistan. This is a gorgeous and complimentary raw, double terminated Himalayan library elestial quartz with serious etchings and elastiation, multiple terminations, and small inclusions of green tourmaline throughout, and a few small oxide areas. It has amazing, beautiful energy. Again, it is big. It is two-thirds of a pound, and it is just an amazing stone to work with. So let me tell you a little bit about library crystals. Library crystals are an elastiated crystal having and inc- having incredible etchings and striations and are associated with the higher realms. Library crystals are very high v- uh, vibratory crystals, thought to store incredible amounts of information. They offer access to your higher consciousness to keep us moving forward along our path. These crystals have a gentle energy profile, but extremely powerful. They have a soothing energy that makes them beautiful additions to meditation and healing work. They are master healers and will work on all levels and chakras. To travel into the crystal, just gaze into it to open your consciousness. Use your intuition and with your thoughts, travel within the crystal to receive insights and information. Libraries are said to house the libraries of light. For healers, they help to bolster confidence in your work and to trust your intuition and ability. Now, Elise Steels. Elise Steels are very powerful crystals known as the Enchanted Crystal. An Elise Steel crystal may also be called the Cathedral, Skeletal, or Chakra Crystal. They sometimes form with a multitude of flat terminations that may appear as stair steps on the surface of the crystal. They can be on top of one another or in random patterns over the crystal itself. Additionally, or otherwise, they can form with a skeletal-like structure within the crystal itself, viewed when one looks into the window and senses the depth perception seeing internal geometric patterns that appear to go deep inside the crystal. This is known as skeletal elisteal. Elisteals may also have a serious a series of unusual etchings, record, record keepers or cavities. Elisteals are used to assist in the mass cleansing, healing, and reawakening. The elisteal is known to bring great comfort, assisting in the release of fears and the unknown. They are very helpful to those who may be near the end of physical existence. There are many uses for Elise Steels, but the most common ones are any type of healing, overcoming emotional burdens, bringing the heart and the mind into balance, to look within yourself, to stimulate the actualization of conscious self, chakra stimulation, to align with the spiritual realm, bringing forth previously blocked information, Enhance communication, 
restore emotional and intellectual stability, meditation, and medicine wheel ceremonies. Rutilation of the stone is thought to intensify the power of the crystal. Now I want to talk about the formation of tourmaline in the quartz. And the formation of tourmaline in quartz and tourmalated quartz provides all humanity with a tool which produces a solving atmosphere. It can be used to assist one in, to actualize an innate strength to alleviate antipathic relationships or situations. It aids in elimination of crystallized patterns, which are or have been destructive in nature and in your life. It aids in adjusting imbalances throughout the bodies. They encourage a large amount of light to encircle your body, and this will heal you on many levels. The addition of this light into your being makes these powerful healing crystals. This is because the combination embodies both the energy of black tourmaline, but what I have here in this crystal itself is green tourmaline and the strong vibration of clear quartz crystals, which amplifies the tourmaline energy. And with the green tourmaline, of course, that adheres to the heart chakra. So tourmalated quartz stones have a strong spiritual grounding energy as well and being potent psychic protection stones. They vibrate to the numbers four and six. They're astrologically correspond to Libra, but anybody can use them. And they are absolutely, absolutely amazing to work with, to meditate with, to heighten your vibration. Um, besides the azestulites, um, which I usually get from Robert Simmons, all the, I think there's, there were 16, I think there are 18 now. Um, and we will get through all these escalates, I promise, I promise, I promise. Um, and I will check, you can look in the back catalog, I have started on the escalates already. Um, but when I am working, whether I'm channeling or I'm just in meditation for myself, um, because things get too stressful or I just need it. Um, working with stones like this, and I only buy stone. I buy from two or three different people for certain things. Um, I have for Moldavite, I usually have, I have somebody who is actually a miner in the Czech Republic, so I get them from him. But for libraries, for Lemurians, for rainbow flint for the stones that aren't as known or popular or easy to get. I always go to Cam from Terra Solis. She has the most amazing collection. She buys, she's so intuitive and buys the most amazing stones that every time I go to do a review for the stones I just bought, I buy more. <laughs> I buy more. Because you know what? You can never have too many stones and they all work differently. Just like every person is different. Every stone being is different. And eventually I would like to talk about the alchemy of stones. Um, but all these zestulite and phanakites and those type of stones I buy from Robert Simmons. And they can get very costly. I mean, I have... And one a necklace I have from him that's eight hundred dollars. Um, so I have many many stones, stones I've mined myself, um, stones that I've bought from just reputable places. So if you're looking for azestulites, and not you don't have to buy an eight hundred dollar necklace from Robert Simmons. Um, he has raw stones which I always say to buy because when you um, tumble it, it cuts the energy of the stone, and we are working with stones to help either ground us or protect us or to heighten our vibration or to help us with PTSD and anxiety. 
you know, a lithium quartz is perfect for that. And I talked about that on two episodes ago. You should definitely listen to it. Um, there are certain stones for certain things. And that's what I'm trying to explain here. And that's what I'm trying to do with you. So um, for wonderful stones that I've been talking about recently, I would go to Cam Terrasolis, terrasolis.com or Etsy Terrasolis. If you're looking for azestulites and all the different types of azestulites, not just plain North Carolina or Vermont azestulite, but all the other ones, the New Zealand's, the black, the tourmalated, the Santa Rosa, the Amazes, the Sinezes, they're all on Robert Simmons's site, which is heaven and earth jewelry.com. And for everything else, I'm mine. <laughs> so I have many, many crystals. I actually have towers and and just, I have them stored everywhere. So it's always nice to work. And for jewelry, if you want beautiful jewelry, like rings or different types of necklaces than what Robert Simmons gives, something that is truly unique for you, I highly re- recommend Giardino Blue. Um, and that is GiardinoBlue.com. G I A R. D-I-N-O-B-L-U dot com. And that's Francesca Mancini. And she does, she's in Milan and she does all of my rings. They are all natural. They are not tumbled and they are just beautiful. If you go on my Instagram account, you'll see some of the rings that I bought from her over the years. I have so many and they're just beautiful. They are absolutely wonderful. So these are just my recommendations if you're looking for these types of stones. So, you know, as I always say, we are in this together. You're my spiritual family. I'm deeply grateful to be able to communicate with you, to be able to have this show And have this platform to work through this journey together. And for anybody listening, you get 20% off any of my services. Don't forget that. Um, You're an audience member, so you get a deal. And that's on top of whatever sales I may have going on. So whatever sale I have going on. I might have a COVID sale coming up within the next week or two and you get 20% off as well. So that is Psychic Today with JillRoberts.com. And from there, you can get to my services under the Learn More. So please stay safe, stay healthy, practice social distancing, and we will get through this together. It's not going to be the end of us. It will transform us and we all will create a new beginning. 